Welcome to my channel Make Easy. In this channel you will get videos related to the programming, related to the computer number system and topics related to the computers. So if you are interested just watch the playlist and videos of this YouTube channel. Specifically today we are discussing about different ways of problem solving. It includes algorithm, flowchart and how to make algorithm and flowchart. Please check out the link in the description for more videos. In this specific video, we'll talk about flow algorithm, how to make a flow chart of any program. This video is especially for students, those who are learning QBasic programming, C programming, C++ or Java. For any programming, flow algorithm is very much important tool, how to make a flow chart. Okay, so basically we are going to use one software called flow algorithm. You have to go to the Google and search for flow algorithm, you will get that or I will provide this link in the description you can click on that and directly come to this website and after that you have to download for your system you can see here for Windows 8 and 10 64 bit this is one Windows 8 and 10 if you have 32 bit you can download it for Windows 7 you can download it from here and how to check your computer is 64 bit or 32 bit for that you have to go to this PC or my computer and right click and click on property after you click on that the window will appear like this and you can see your system type 64 bit and which operating system you are using windows 10 from here you can check and you can download it for yourself okay after downloading you have to double click on that to install and next 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 and it will be installed in your system it's very much simple so next is how to make a flowchart after installation you have to click on that search button or start button and search for flow algorithm and you will get this you have to click on that to open yes it is open now you can make it full screen now how to make a flowchart first of all we need to get the problem we need to get the program for which program we are going to make flowchart okay uh, for now I'm going to make simple program that is for p1 or odd okay so first step for even or odd what is the requirement requirement is one number because user will give any number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 thousand or whatever we have to check whether that is even or odd so we need only one number we have to check that number whether it is even or odd so basically one requirement means we need to declare one variable if you know if you are familiar with programming you know we have to declare the variable so okay for flowchart making okay let me delete it first you have to click on this arrow main and end is already there here we have to click on the arrow and there are different symbol for different purpose so for variable declaration here is the declare one symbol click on that and double click on it to declare variable you can give any name to that so I'll give this name as n and type is integer where we can store number so leave it as it is and okay now we have declared the variable we need to take input input means user will enter any number so for that we have to display something on the screen output screen so I have selected output screen inside the double quotation we have to write enter any number when we write that user will enter any value any number and when user will enter any number where we have to store in the input as you can see here input click on that and double click and then I will store that number user entered by user in n variable so n will enter the value user entered value okay so we have one value we get the requirement now we have to check whether that is even or odd even number is the number which is completely divisible by 2 completely divisible means we have to divide any number with 2 and if we get remainder at 0 that is complete divisible if we get remainder at 0 then it is divisible or it is even number else odd number so to check the condition we have here this one control if this diamond type symbol we have to select this as you can see here now we'll check condition here whether it is divisible by 2 or not if it is divisible then true then we'll print something here 
if it is false this is false then we will print something here and after that end so what is the condition i will double click here and the number entered by the user is stored in n variable so i will write here n for divisibility we have to use this symbol modulus symbol like percent symbol this is percent symbol 2 equals to equals to 0 because we are comparing for comparison equals to equals to 2 times if n means your number entered by the user divisible by 2 if we divide this number with 2 and this symbol percent symbol will give the remainder so after dividing if we are getting remainder at 0 this one 0 then it is true okay we have written here this if it is true what we need to print if it is true we will click here and in the output i will write i will double click and inside the double quotation number is e even and after that i will give a space and i will write here and symbol and then and this means and and means it will display the value number is even and whatever the number user have entered it will display here <coughs> if it is divisible then even else in the false we have to print something so i will write here output and double click again i will write here number is odd you can write message here twice number is odd the number entered by user is odd so something like that okay now our flow chart for even odd is done so how to check this okay now first of all you can see step or you can see a run option speed slow and fast here is the option you can click here or you can go to the step by step process i will show you by the this step first of all integer n it is declared so we can use this n variable to store number integer n so output in the output screen enter any number it will be display in output screen as you can see here this is our output screen for now so let me make it little bit small okay so now as you can see here enter any number whatever the message we have written here this is displaying if i go to the next step okay where it is here okay we have to click from here step then please enter any number so i will enter here 10 and i will click enter okay now it is checking condition whether it is divisible by 2 or not for even or odd so i will click step again yes it check the condition 10 divide by 2 equals to equals to 0 if we divide 10 by 2 then remainder is 0 so condition is true so it go to the next step that is here after true and it display here number is even and percent and okay whatever the message we have written here it is displayed here and then after that i will click here step and this is end and end of the program so in this way it work okay so in the output screen let me change this okay we have to write this and and after this semicolon so it will display the value and n okay now this is correct so if you want to display value you have to write after this double quotation uh, and an and okay now so let me run this program once again and enter value different value so okay integer number is n is declared so next step enter any number so it will display in the output screen now it is our output screen you can see your message enter any number so i'll go to the next step okay input means from user so i will enter i'm user for now i'll enter 9 after i enter 9 it is checking the condition whether it is divisible or not so i will click on step this is false because 9 is not divisible by 2 when we divide 9 by 2 the remainder will be 1 not 0 so condition false when condition false it will display this so step now you can see number is odd and 9 is odd and after that it will go here and end so step our program finished in this way it works so there are many options here we can check out from here copy image to the clipboard you can just click here to copy this one and you can paste it anywhere you like so i will let me go to the slide and i can paste it here in this way we can paste it anywhere where you need in the tool you can see 
export to the image file you can save this image directly create or done like in that way I'm not going to do that you can variable watch window if you do this now you can see in n variable this is stored so if I run this again fast in the fast option and if you want to see this variable screen in this way so it will display the value of that variable so you can do that next main important is as you can see source code view you can click on this to see the code of this program in which language you want to see you can see that after making this flowchart simply as you can see in QBasic this flowchart is converted into QBasic program so QBasic program for this flowchart even odd is look like this you can get program from here also and if you want to see this program in any other programming language you can just select it from here and it will display so let me select the C++ as you can see for C++ program is look like this so in this way you can see the code of that flowchart also so this is very much important you can make flowchart for any program which you like and thank you for watching if you like this video it if it is helpful for you click on the like button click on the subscribe button and share with your friends